It's your girl Shana Bass, and you're locked into Media Spotlight UK. Bow. <laughs> Firstly, happy birthday, Shana Bass. Thank you so much. It's your 21st. Happy! And you're performing at your headline sold out yep, show. Yeah, I'm so excited. Wait, this was all planned, surely? The team, the marketing team, were they behind this? Yes, well, my management, Colin Batsa, okay, EGA, Colin, yes. to the world. That's my gang, that's my team, so they help plan everything. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, I so, can't even express. W- when you were told you're going to be performing on your, your 21st birthday, were you, th- were you thinking, oh, this is, this is crazy? I was thinking this is actually a dream, yeah. especially from where I came from last year. Last year I had no home, nothing. So now it's my first headline show. So it's just, like, amazing to see the growth within myself so I'm really excited to be honest. And have you had any birthday cake so far? Um, I had one but I only licked off the icing, I didn't oh, actually okay, eat the cake okay. yet. So you need but to get I... into the sponge here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and once you get into that then, it's, then that's really your birthday. Yeah, you it's know? game over. It's game over. It's game over. So let's take it back, uh, you had your, your that's it, and I, let's not say moment, but I mean, you were introduced to Clean Bandit. Oh, via, yes. You were at a youth club, was that a youth yes, club? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I went to, I was at a youth club and I used to dance a lot. Yeah. And then they were doing a documentary about South Kilburn, the area. And then my youth club was in South Kilburn. So then they came down to the Tablet Centre. They heard a lot of people sing. They heard me sing and they yeah. were like, oh, we need to record this girl. And then that was when I was 14. And then when I was 16, they messaged me one day. It was like, do you want to be on a song? And then same day, Extraordinary. And this was, this was one of the biggest hits of 2015. This, I know, like, which is I was, crazy. I was going to ask you, like, so you're, you're so young, you're hearing yourself on radio, yeah. you're watching yourself on all the music channels, yeah. this massive song, well, what are you thinking? Are you just thinking... Um, I'm real humble to me, it's like, I yeah. wasn't, re- I didn't really think nothing of it, I was just thinking, mm. everyone kind of knows my name in the end, but I wasn't like, oh, I have a big song, I was like, normal 16 year old, going college still. You were going college as well? Yeah, I was still going college, when my song came out, I was in college. Did you my notify your, your lecturer that you said, look, by the way... Well, he knew about it, he was like, Shana, your song, your song, and I was like, ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> but it was really lit, it was really lit, What, 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 what were you doing at college? Um, music. Of course. Well, actually, I lied, my first year I was doing performing arts. Okay. Like, I really liked acting and dance. Right. And I was really shy to sing. And then when the song came out, I was like, yeah, let me. I just have to do music. That's what I want to do. So I, I wanted to ask you about the artists that inspire you, but I know one of them, Biggie Smalls. Oh. Because you freestyle as well, Boy. don't you? Boy, that is like my dad. Honestly, yes. I think Biggie's my dad in another dad life. Who, Lauren Hill's my mom, Biggie's my dad. Come on. Ultimate, who, ultimate jeans, ultimate, ultimate musical <laughs> jeans there. Yeah, well, I love, I love Biggie. I love Biggie. I love Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. I love really old school music. I love and I love Lauren Hill. Because yeah. I feel like she's just so empowering to women. I love Indie Eerie. Oh, some yeah, quality artists that you're yeah. mentioning. <laughs> and um, no, you are. You mentioned them, some, some big Thank artists you there. Boy. You know? And you've, you've got a, a twin brother as well. Yes. Is, is there a lot of sibling rivalry? Not really. I feel like there was loads of sibling rivalry when we were younger. Okay. But now it's we support each other. Right. Like we're on the same team now. It's so like, so okay. he does singing as well. Yeah, he sings as well. He's here today. He's like, ah, but yeah, he sings as well. But uh, so be- before you record, you like to have a little bit of a of a smoke just to get you in the zone. Yeah, I like, like to. Does that just mellow, open the, the creative zone? It mellows me down a bit because, as you can tell, I'm hella hyper. <laughs> so Very hyper, mellows, but I like it. It mellows me down a bit, and um, it just helps me concentrate really. Like yeah. loads of because I freestyle, so when I'm most comfortable it's easier to freestyle so that's when I'm most comfortable so yeah like a lot. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite Biggie song warning oh, by Biggie. Warning. warning is my 5 fav- a.m. in the morning etc et who is this <laughs> page at me at 546 come on like yeah, honestly if somebody like, does call you at 546 you're thinking you know, who you know, is this like who is but he <laughs> no, obviously had some press and business oh, his day. storytelling not song is less Oh, it, impeccable. So, yeah, I love... Oh. You know what? I used to listen to Biggie quite a lot. It used to make me hungry for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I wasn't smoking. I just, just felt really hungry <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> no, in my house, it was like West Coast versus East Coast. My okay. mum loves Tupac. Okay. But I love Biggie, so I don't know how she raised me. <laughs> so, but, but in, in lyricism terms, you would say that Biggie was yeah. the, the better I like one for his you. flow. I love his flow. I think Tupac, at the age my mum was always playing it, I think I was too young to actually understand... His lyrics. Yeah, the and meaning behind it yeah, all. Yeah, the meaning behind it all. But now, obviously, now I'm older, but Biggie's still my favourite. I can't Biggie, lie, Biggie's West, still my favourite. Biggie. Uh, I want to congratulate you on the DJ Target session for One X. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Big up DJ Target ten times. Course, <laughs> my dog. He's always ahead of the game. Isn't it? I he's know. He's always ahead of the game. Big up DJ Target. But, uh, you, you done, it was some beautiful music. you done a, was it an India Ari cover? No, it was no, a Prime Bailey. You got it, yes, yes. yes just like right. a star. That's right. So you've done the cover, and yeah. of course you performed. Bus a nine. Bus a nine. By me. But the BBC couldn't put the full title, so they said Bus I thought I had to say it. I was like, 
We're not the BBC. You oh can my, say my whatever God! You want. Yes. Smoke, drink, whatever. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how how was that? Like doing something um, like that for the that BBC. That was really exciting to me, and because it was in May the Bell, I've never been. I've never sang anywhere so beautiful and yeah. the acoustics there was amazing like i just had to thank dj target 10 times because it was such a great opportunity and i'm so grateful that i was able to do it to, to be honest yeah smashed it, absolutely thank smashed you it. so much but, but tonight it's all about you tonight and it's all about the people who've come out to support you I know. I mean, talk to us about who's here tonight you got your friends you i got, got my friends i got my family i got my team i got some industry here i got quite a few i don't even to be honest i even know who is here if i'm being very it honest could be but anyone in there i know imagine like drake's in there Drake. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you've got the EP coming as well? Yes. Summertime, fine. Summer. Is it's that coming the name sometime. No, 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 it's oh. coming sometime. It's called Beautiful Chaos. Okay. It's literally a beautiful chaos. So I'm really excited. And the EP is going to be heard today. Right. So you're going to be performing exclusively yes, live yes, here. Yeah, exclusive. And how long has this show been sold out for? Um, for I've said like a a the first, pre it got sold out every day. Every time I put a ticket out, it got sold out same day. Like in like an within an hour, it was sold out. Wait, big up your team who got us in here tonight. EGA to the way, I'm back. She said it beautifully there. You yeah, heard you have her. to shout it so everyone can hear it. <laughs> There'll be distortion on that edit. That, but it was lovely. It was lovely. Uh, so the rest of 2018 summer season's coming. There's going to yeah. be festivals. I'm mad where, where excited. Are you going to be overseas? Where are you going to be? Um, I'm not even sure yet, but yeah. wherever I am. Everyone will know. It will always be on my social media, wherever I am. So, yeah, I'm just mad excited about summer. I'm mad excited about everyone hearing my music. I'm mad excited about my EP coming out. And I'm mad excited about my birthday, my show. You can right tell, now. you can tell, you can tell. <laughs> there we are. Get that on camera. Get that on camera. Uh, but, yeah, have a great show tonight. Thank and you so much. Do you want to give us an exclusive piece of news, something that you could maybe give us a little clue or a hint towards anything that's exclusive? Shh, because I know better. Ah, I mean, I talk too much. I'm joking, though. No, you have get to... Get after a few drinks. <laughs> after a few Corvossiers. Oh, I can get you a yeah, vodka and lemonade, but I don't know about Corvossier. <laughs> don't know, we'll see what the budget stretches to, but uh, have, a, have a great night. Oh, thank uh, you so much. What a special night it is. It's your birthday, 21st. Hello. You know, this is the beginning of some great things. Thank you so much, honestly. Sharna Bass. It's been a real...